M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the 7610. Today we're going to add some memory channels and scan them. First thing you want to do is get yourself into VFO mode. So press the quick button here, tap VFO memory, and then just make sure you've got VFO highlighted there. Okay, then select the frequency you'd like to select or band. So go like so, select 3.5. And interestingly, if you did want to say add a 50 meter repeater, we select that, then select FM, like so. You can now add tones. You can see it highlighted here, tone and tone squelch. If you hold it, you can select different tone frequencies as well, turn the large VFO. So that's quite cool. And if you've got a shift, then you can, you know, do the split frequency and, and, uh, and set that as well. This is pretty cool. So anyway, back to saving a memory channel. Once you've decided what you want to set, select the quick button, press VFO memory, and now we've got uh, we've got some memory channels in there, and I'll explain to you about the star section. You can, next to the memory channel list, you can choose star one, two, or three, and it puts it into groups for scanning. It makes it you know easier to scan. So let's say you could put on star one, 40 meters, star two, 80 meters, and it would just scan them. And, and you select that as you go along. Now we've got some memory channels in here. If you've got no memory channels at all, you're only gonna have number one showing, aren't you? But all you do, when you've decided that you're ready to save, turn the multi knob here until you've got a, a space. And the first space we've got is six. Then just hold down the MW and it's in there. So the next thing we'd want to do is to, to name it. So what you do is push the back, press menu, then go to memory. Okay, now we you can see we've been practicing here, we've been adding some channels. Let's name this one 50 megahertz. So we'll tap the, the side section there, click edit name. Um, we, for numbers and letters, we select here and we'll go 50, space, and then back. And if you want the capitals, you've got megahertz, hold your finger. I should do it. No, it's not gonna do it for me. Let's try this one here then, there you are. I wonder if when it's up, if it holds it. No, nope, that didn't work. Anyway, so we'll just clear one megahertz. Enter, so we've now named it. Now we'll go to the star thing. Here on number six, you can star one, two, or three. So we'll put it into three. That's for scanning groups. And that's it, that's saved, we'll back out. In VFO mode, sorry, in memory mode, we're now able to look at the different. Okay, so when you're in VFO mode, which we are in now, you can see the memory channels underneath, but they don't change, okay? If you go to quick, VFO memory, then go back into memory mode, back out, we can now scroll through the memory channels and even see the blank ones as well. Now press menu, scan. We're in the scan menu selections. You can select the number. Remember we talked about the star here, look. So if we want to scan all of them, you just show star one, two, and three. Now press memo. And it goes into memory scan mode. Okay, and there's a, it's pausing, it's listening to, you know, for a channel or for an activity, and then it moves on to the next. If you press set, you can go to scan speed and scan resume as well, look. You can set that on or off. To back out, just press exit. And then if you want your scope back, just hold your scope. The scope comes back. To change the names of your memories, go menu. This time hit memory. And then you're tapping these, aren't you? Just, just to remind you. That's how you change the names and change the star as well. And again, exit to come out. Another thing you could do is grab your microphone, look. And you can press the up and down button to scan through the memories. Or you can just hold it. And it's scanning through your memory channels. Let's go to, oh, what's that one there, P1? I don't actually know what that is. But anyway, let's go to, back to the main screen. Then we'll go 
quick here, VFO memory, and we're going to select VFO mode. Now let's hold down the button now. Look, you're scanning as a VFO, you know, VFO now. Just by pressing that button. I also notice when you go menu scan, you can change here the span. Where's it gone here? And there's those P1 and P2 we just saw. So I need to look into what that actually does. Look at that, that started scanning. When I pressed F scan there, just started scanning. And program scans, is that your P1? So I, uh, oh, right, okay, I get it. With the P1, P2, you can set a start and finish scan. That's what I think that is. So I believe that the P scan, you can select fine, but the span is selected for you when you select your, your, you know, your frequency. So let's exit out a minute. Go back to scope and tap a band, 40. And then we'll go back to menu, scan. I still think that the P scan has stayed the same here. We've got fine, span. I want to see these change, 0 0.500 to 29.999. I'm looking in the manual at page number 68. They let me know some tips on that, but what I have found is that as we change memory channels here, look up here, you press this one, and it starts to scan there from where you are. If we go, Christ set, no, it's not there. Exit that. Got our stars. Go back into quick VFO. Like so. Exit. And then that does light up P1 and P2. So how do we change P1 and P2? Because I can't see that in the advanced manual. Someone let me know. Bye for now. 73.